In this video, I'm going to set out some of the basic steps to estimating the value of a bond. And the bond is a fixed income instrument with a coupon structure. And we're just going to apply some basic formula of the type uh, you might see in um, Wikipedia and then convert that um, flow of coupons into present value and UT uh, factor. Okay, so um, consider the following. Let's say we observe a bond and that the bond represents a portfolio or a present value of a portfolio of coupons and the coupons arrive at uniform intervals um, over the course of a number of years or a number of time periods and then the bond matures. So the simplest way to develop this is to take an actual example and say what if we knew a bond which had a face of $1,000 and matured in three years uh, and we were to apply discount rate of 5.6% on the bond. How would we value or what is the value of the bond? And if you like, what the bond would represent is, first of all, we might set out, okay, coupon rate, so I'll fill in the details. So we have, we take the example and copy and paste here as a picture. Okay, so what we want to do is replicate the results that we have here in terms of the bond. So we have, if you like, a coupon rate. So CPR. And that's 6%. And we have um, a face. We have a face of 1000. So the face is the principal involved. So we're investing. The bond can be thought of as a way of borrowing money or lending money. And with the bond then comes an obligation that during the life of the bond you pay the 6% of the face, which would be 60. And that would be 60 year 1, 60, $60 year 2, $60 year 3, plus the face at the end. So there's a balloon payment at the end. And of course the present value of that is the value when we express these future cash flows in terms of today's value or the current value. So we convert future payments into today's value. But we do that at a rate of 5.6%. And we're seeing at least initially the time period is three years. Okay, if we want to work out the present value of that payment, we could work out a timeline so we could think of the current time period year one year two year three we could think of the coupon payment as being f4 times so c4 times 1000 and we f4 both of those um cell references just to lock the, lock the cell reference so we could think of cash flows or the coupons and we could think of the face value as occurring at the end of the three years so it's equal to the face and then we could think of cash flows so when we sum cash flows of both periods of the coupons and so when we take the sum of the 60 and so on for each time period we see at the end uh, the value, the face value plus the coupon is 1,060. 
So to get the present value, then we need to get the discount factors. And the discount involves taking uh, 1 divided by 1 plus the rate of interest. That's 0 0.056, F4, and close off and put the power of the time period. The time period is, in this instance, 1 year. So we can drag that across. So this is the discount period, again, 1 divided by 1 plus 0 0.056 to the power of 2 years and 3 years, likewise. So to get the present value, we must multiply the cash flows by the discount factors. And so we we'll say present value cash flows is equal to the cash flows each year multiplied by the discount factors. So 60 when converted to a per, the current time period is 58. 16 two years time converted to its present value is 53. And 1060 converted back to the current time period is equal to uh, 852. So present value of bond, PV of bond, then is equal, equal to just the sum of those three cash flows. And so we have 963. And of course this is not the right figure. And why? Because this should have been year 3. So change that to year 3. Okay, and we get a thousand and ten seventy-seven. So these two figures then uh, are in line with each other, are consistent. Okay, an easier way or a more direct way of looking at this and uh, making this calculation is to use the present value annuity factor. Okay, so let's look at that. And that involves using this type of formula. Okay, so we have present value. So again, if we were to take this calculation again, you could imagine if we made this for a 20 year period, discounting each cash flow over the 20 year period would be quite tedious. So to make that, to streamline that, we can use the present value annuity factor. So we could imagine here those as individual cash flows, individual coupon payments could in fact be written with um, this using this present value annuity factor. And perhaps we would like to generalize that to take into account <coughs> a higher intervals of payment. So we might adopt our annuity factor to take into account um, multiple periods. Okay, so we'll come back to that in a moment. Okay, so let's take this simple example here of 1 minus 1 plus r to the power of negative n over r. So you can we, um, implement that in the spreadsheet. So uh, taking this information again, copy. Let's take everything one more time. Copy, paste, and um, we can remove this. We can say um, M. Let's leave M empty for a moment. Let's just go with uh, PV and UC. Okay, in this instance, what we want to do is take this formula and we'll bring this down and we paste the formula and we just want to replicate the present value annuity factor. Okay, so let's make it a little bit bigger and a little bit wider. 
So what we want to do is write the present value nutty factor. Okay, so we would have 1 minus 1 plus r 0, 5, 6 to the power of negative n, negative 3. So we need to incorporate a negative, negative 3. And close off brackets and then again divide by r. And underneath we have 0, 5, 6. Okay, so that's 2.692. We should probably write the coupon. Determine its value. So the coupon value is equal to uh, 60. So 0 0.06 multiplied by 1000 to get the coupon. And to get the present value of the bond. Okay, so to get the present value of the coupons, we just take the product of 60 multiplied by the present value nutty factor. So PV of coupons is equal to 161 and the PV of face value is just equal to 1000 divided by to the face divided by 1 plus 0, 06 to the power of 3. So 1 plus 0 0.056 to the power of 3. And that's 849. And then the sum of both should be equal to 101077. Okay, so in this instance we have applied present value and duty factor and um, we find that we get the same result as if we had discounted the payoffs and the bond individually. So in both instances we have same example, different approaches. Here we use present value and duty factor and we take the coupons and discount all in one go and then take the face separately and discount that uh, to the full maturity of the bond's life. Um, and then if we do that, we also got a 1072. Here we do the same estimation again uh, using uh, the present value annuity and we get a 1077. So all these are cash amounts so 1010, 849, 60 and 1000 we can write as just simply as a currency so that will convert in this instance to euros okay okay so what we've managed to do is we've managed to estimate the present value of bond using a newty and we verified that the results obtained is equal to discounting cash flows individually okay